Hello, YouTube. And what's up, Sable Chicken? You don't really know me. I mean, you've only left one comment on one of my videos, and it was full of uh, error, <laughs> like your uh, evolution video. And anti-vaccination? Really? Wow. Guess you don't care about your kids, huh? Because, Sable, I hate to break it to you, but I don't have autism, and I had all those booster shots, and uh, and all the vaccinations. I get, I just had a flu shot. And honey, you've been vaccinated too. Trust me. You know, unless you've lived in a Amish uh, community, which is possible. Although, what would you be doing on the internet? You don't have any very many Amish internet sites. <laughs> Yours comes close. Uh, anyhow, I didn't know who or what a sable chicken is, so I, I checked out your channel and uh, saw your videos and admired your sculpture. You're very artistic, uh, but you have some ass clown crazy ideas, girl. And you don't know anything about what Charles Darwin said. You don't. And you're not going to find out by going some, to some creatard uh, website and collecting their straw man arguments that have been debunked and debunked and debunked. I was embarrassed for you. I went back, and I noticed you deleted your video, so I guess <laughs> you've been pwned enough. And I'm not here to pwn you, but um, I do have to say, um, there was something familiar about your arguments, and um, I copied a, a video from, oh, I'll put it, I'll give him credit uh, in the description. I forgot his name. I'm sub to him, though, so he'll forgive me. Uh, he, uh, he copied uh, your video, and I, I'm going to use that to illustrate you know, for anyone else watching, what, what I'm talking about. Evolution is sort of looking at things going backwards. And we say, okay, humans came from um, extinct ancestors that are also extinct ancestors to the chimps and the monkeys and that. And then they came from extinct ancestors of other smaller primates, which came from extinct ancestors from uh, rats, or rat-like ancestors, and then the rat-like ancestors came from fish-like ancestors, which came from amoeba-like ancestors, and oops, stop, stop there, because it's starting to sound ridiculous if it didn't sound ridiculous already. Anyhow, when I saw your scientific debunking of evolution, I was reminded of uh, an episode of South Park where Mr. Slash Mrs. Garrison uh, had, was forced to teach evolution. And um, I'll share that with you, too, and we can compare the two. All right, kids, it is now my job to teach you the theory of evolution. Oh, boy! Now, I, for one, think that evolution is a bunch of bull crap, but I've been told I have to teach it anyway. It was thought up by Charles Darwin, and it goes something like this. In the beginning, we were all fish, okay, swimming around in the water. And then one day, a couple of fish had a retard baby, and the retard baby was different, so it got to live. So retard fish goes on to make more retard babies, and then one day, a retard baby fish crawled out of the ocean with its mutant fish hands and it had butt sex with a squirrel or something and made this retard frog squirrel and then that had a retard baby which was a monkey fish frog and then this monkey fish frog had butt sex with that monkey and that monkey had a mutant retard baby that screwed another monkey and that made you so there you go you're the retarded offspring of five monkeys having butt sex with a fish squirrel. Congratulations. So, I, um, I'm not trying to pwn you. Uh, I mean, it's too easy. Uh, anyhow, uh, I just wanted to give you a chance to make a better video. Uh, if you want to trash Darwin, you really should quote him directly. Not, not just recycle the same old tired uh, straw man arguments uh, and arguments from incredulity. I mean, because your video, it was like, 
evolution is dumb because I don't understand it. And I think I'm going to resist the urge to uh, follow that to its logical conclusion because it would involve uh, switching a couple of words around. Anyhow, I, I want to give you a chance to make a better video, and I'll watch it. I will. And if it's good, I'll even, I'll even give it a thumbs up. Uh, I, down below, I've got a link for you. Uh, no, that's not what I'm talking about. Uh, I got a hyperlink for you to uh, a free website that has audiobooks, uh, so you don't have to. No reading involved. The only thing you have to do is something else you're not apparently good at, and that's listen. But anyway, um, the works of Charles Darwin are complete and free, and you could listen to them. I know that's tough, but it's at least easier than reading, right? I mean, you could get some direct quotes. You could find that little point where he messed up and pounce on it and make a video that will change the whole world. So anyway, I'm just trying to help. Uh, so don't hate on me, because um, yeah, I'm just trying to help you out here. Uh, check it out. The uh, LibriVox website. I've been enjoying it for years. There's no strings attached. I know you're paranoid. I know everything's a fucking conspiracy to you, but trust me. It's just a free website. It's uh, public domain books. They even have Christian books there, so it isn't even an atheist site. They do have some works that we atheists would love, and I've made videos based on some of those. But you want to you trash Darwin? Find out what he said first. Don't just go to some creationist website. Because we could do that too. What do we need you for then? No, let's hear what you really think. <laughs> Peace.